much. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining. It's um uh, ten minutes after eleven, and I'm gonna go ahead and start. So. For those of you who have been watching, you already know what Glam Media Talk Show is about. We're here to support and promote our own, you know, to showcase our African businesses and talents to the world. Because I, for one, I am somebody that loves to support people. I am somebody that loves to make sure that everybody wins. And I'm also somebody that loves to make sure that we rise because I know that we rise by lifting each other. So I also, I always like to hold people's hands. And also I like other people to hold my hand in this journey of life because I know that you cannot, there's no way anybody can make it by themselves in this life. You need support, you need your family, you need your friends, you need strangers, you need support to get to where you're going to. So the goal of this talk show is to do that, to bring out people who are doing something positive in the community, people who have businesses and talents, to, to showcase them and let other people come and support them. So thank you guys for always watching. Thank you guys for always joining. Pancho. <laughs> Today, Pancho is being... <laughs> it's just, I mean, I'm just... It's not a laughing matter, but it's just because he missed last show. So. Today, Pancho lost the colleague, so he's not able to make it to, work, to the show. But I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do my best. I know that you guys missed Pancho. I know you guys have missed him. And unfortunately, today he cannot make it. He's at work right now. It's chaotic there because one of their colleagues passed away. So he has to take care of things back there. He was actually planning to join today, but this unfortunate incident happened this morning. So they have to do what they have to do at work. So again, you guys will have to deal with me today. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So if you guys are ready, Let's go ahead and bring on our guest. And uh, I know today is weekday, so it's one of the reasons why it's hard to get Pancho on because he was Monday through Friday. And this weekend, I'm not available. That's why I'm doing it during the week. So if you guys want to see your Pancho, he'll come next weekend. So please, if you're ready, start pumping the hearts for our guests. You know how we do it. Whenever our guest is coming, we have to give them lots and lots of hearts to make them feel welcome. So if I don't see those hearts, I'm not bringing the guest. Mm -mm, I refuse. <laughs> so start pumping the hearts. Sister Adelina, I see you. Welcome, sis. Welcome. Okay. Bring, bring, send the hearts, send the hearts for the guest. The first person that sends the hearts, then I'll go ahead and bring the guest on, on the show. So, oh yeah. Send the hearts, send the hearts. Pump, pump, pump this love. I want to see the love. If I don't see love, I'm not bringing him. So you guys better send him lots and lots of love so that I can bring him. I'm waiting. I am waiting. I am waiting. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I see, I see, I see. Mr. Kenneth, are you ready? Our people are ready for you. Our people are ready for you. Onela, you guys send hearts for the guests. Sister Adeline, send hearts, send hearts, pump lots and love. Oh, be some Lizzie. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome, sweetheart. Good evening, everybody. Thank you guys who are just joining. Be some Lizzie. We're about to bring our guests on. So you guys um send send lots and lots of hearts because our guest for today has a lot in store for you. He has a lot of good information and good vibes. So send the hearts for, for us just to bring him on. Good job, good job. I see those hearts coming, I see those hearts coming. I'm good, Lizzie, I'm good. It's just, um, Pancho is not here today. He's, he's, he's bereaved, so you guys um, pray for him. Thank you, oh, my boo is here. Thank you, boo, her hairdressers, Estelle, thank you so much for joining. Blissful child, welcome, thank you so much for joining. Okay, let me go ahead and bring our guest because he has a lot, he has a lot to tell us, so I don't want to take up so much time. Let me just go ahead and bring him. So if you guys are ready, I'm going to go ahead. Once I see the hat, I know that you people are ready. Thank you, Blissful child, let me go ahead and bring him. <laughs> I know, I know, Nella, don't worry, we'll catch up. Don't worry, we'll catch up. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Mr. Kenneth, are you ready? Everybody's ready for you. <laughs> All right, so everybody say, Three, two, one, boom. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Let me bring you closer. Yeah, so that you can see your handsome <laughs> face. <laughs> hello, 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 sir. Welcome to Glam Media Talk Show. 
I am so excited and delighted to have you today. So welcome, welcome. Hi, Linda Lynn. Thank you for joining, sis. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Please share as you join because Mr. Kenneth has a lot of good stuff for us today. So we have to spread this message as far as possible. So thank you so much for, for joining, bro. Thank you for accepting our invitation. And before we start, I would like to apologize for all the back and forth. <laughs> it's been crazy. No. It's been crazy. I know we've programmed you like three times and we've moved it around just because of our crazy schedule. You know, I'm always traveling these days and then Pancho too, which is like, he's been absent for some time now. So thank you so much for being here with us and accepting to come on today. All right. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I can understand. It's a busy world. Everybody is very different, right? To catch up with um, obligations so I can understand. Everything is fine. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. So without um, much more, any more delay, let's um, start with the show. So on Glam Media Show, the goal of our show is to support and promote and expose our own African businesses and talents and anybody that is doing anything positive in the community. So when you told me about your experts across borders, I was really interested in it because I saw that it's something good that you're doing. So I wanted you to come on the show and tell us more about it. So before we go ahead, let's start by your, introducing yourself. Tell us who you are, where you live, what you do for a living, and then we'll get into your your, your wonderful business and the stuff that you do with experts across the world. Okay, thank you so much for having me. Um, I am Kenneth Azang. I come originally from Cameroon. I'm a born uh, barefoot boy. I live in Hamburg, Germany. I have a background in nursing and public health. And um, I've over the years worked in different compartments in the healthcare sector, but I am at the moment uh, training healthcare professionals. Just kind of brief and direct to the point about myself. Okay, thank you for that brief introduction. So you're a nurse, you have a background in healthcare. I'm a nurse myself, so I can relate to you. So you're my colleague. <laughs> so you're my colleague. So it's so good to see somebody that does the same thing as I do. And I'm so excited to have you on today because with what you are doing right now, being a nurse, it's like serving, you know, like serving humanity. And then you want to extend it now to helping others. So that brings me to my next question, which is experts across borders. That is what you do. That is what you do. Is that like a business to you or what is it like? What is that? Just tell us about briefly about experts across borders. So um, experts across borders as a passion, a driven initiative which um, started so many years ago based on my experiences where I've been able to gather through all my professional career right from Cameroon and in Germany and basically what uh, came to the production uh, what led to the uh, Esper Across Brothers being born was basically the, the gap that I found between the two healthcare systems between the healthcare system in Cameroon and the healthcare system in Germany where I live so in Cameroon we produce massively healthcare professionals who are unable to find jobs that can give, uh, let them enable them feed their families. And in Germany, we have a lot of open positions, but we are not able to find like qualified personnel that can be able to take up these positions. So um, based on this experience, I was able to draw Expert Across Borders was born, which is basically kind to connect those two markets connect the market, not only in Cameroon or maybe in Africa, wherever you are. The initial idea was in healthcare because that's where I come from. But when I realized, when I was working with my team, I realized that um, this need is not just found within the healthcare sector. If you go to the IT sector, you find the same thing. If you look at the sector in education, for example, when you look at the UK, they are looking for primary school, qualified primary school and secondary school teachers. So you see that there, these are opportunities that are there, but most often people who are back home or maybe for one reason or another are not aware of these opportunities. So basically Experts Across Borders is a platform which we, my team and I put together, which is like a job board, but we focus on international positions. Basically what we are doing is that we are taking those positions that are open for international experts and presenting them to those who may find themselves, I don't know, maybe in Cameroon, in Nigeria, in Kenya, and who are looking to, for, for better opportunities, who also have the skills. It's very important, right? So if you are looking for a job, you need to be able to get the skills to be able to get the job. 
So basically, that's what experts across borders do. We are trying to open opportunities uh, for everybody, irrespective of where you find yourself. Today is a digital world. We have a platform where you can go to, you find the jobs you apply to. And if you're finding difficulties, you can also talk to us. So we are like a, the connection between the, the, the employer and the employee. Wow, wow, that's that's very interesting. You know, when when you and I talked, I thought that Express Cross Border was only between Cameroon and Germany. But now that you're explaining it, I'm I'm glad to hear that you do all African countries. In fact, every, any anybody with in any part of the world, right? If they are interested to move, if anybody that is interested to move can can join your program. That's correct. That's wow. correct. So I'm impressed that you have that opening for anybody that is anywhere in the world. And then also if they're interested to move to Germany. So you have the connection with the employers there. You are just looking for the skilled employees. Okay, now let me ask you a question. You said it's across all fields, from healthcare to IT to you know different fields. Do you guys train these people if, if somebody doesn't have the skills, like somebody's not a nerd, do you have programs where you can refer them to go do the training and how long it takes for them to, to travel? So at the moment right now, because of capacity and due to the fact that we want to build slowly and gradually before we expand, we are focused on IT and healthcare. And um, given because of our representative in the UK who also saw that there was a need and we know that we have qualified people back in Cameroon, wherever, Africa, wherever, who can also be fed. And that's why we decided to bring in the, the, the education sector, like primary education or secondary education, there are specific subject fields that are needed in the UK where the employers are willing to sponsor for those positions. So our job is to bring all these opportunities. When we found that out, we decided to include that. Of course, with time, there are other sectors that will be bringing in, but right now we really focus on IT and the healthcare sector. So back to your, your, your question, we have uh, uh, partners and collaborators with whom we work, but at the moment, what we are working on, it, it is a future plan. For example, in healthcare, I'm in, healthcare trainer, I train healthcare professionals. So with time we have, I have the connections with such training institutions where we can connect you with those training institutions if you don't have the skills. If you, for example, if you're an advanced level student, you have a good German language level of a B2 level, you can reach out to us and we'll be able to connect you with those companies, with those training institutions that can be able to train you for, I'm even happy you asked the question because it's an opportunity that people maybe back in Cameroon are not aware of. We have employers who are ready to train you, pay you during your training, so you complete your training. So if you are somebody who has like an advanced level certificate in Cameroon, you the most decisive aspect, especially in the healthcare sector, is the language. If you can get the certification for the language, what is needed is a B2 level. We are going to our job will be easier for us to be able to connect you with potential employers who will be able to train you. They'll pay you while training you. And by the time you're done with your training, they are willing to employ you immediately. So it is a it's a win 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 uh, a situation. The opportunities are there. You just need to uh, uh, reach out to us, and we'll be able to find something for you. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Can you help me mute your mic while I'm talking? Let's see, because there's a background noise. So just mute. Let's see. All right. Good. So we'll do that when I'm talking, I mute then you mute. So thank you so much for that um, amazing um, answer. And while you were talking, a few of our friends, our families, I call them my family, my glam media people, I call them my supporters, I call them family. So let me just go ahead and read some questions and then welcome some people that just joined, okay? All right, we have uh, Sister Roxy. That's my sister from San Antonio, always supporting me. She's always on my case. Thank you, sis. She says, good job, Glam Queen. And then your big sister, for those who don't know, Ade, I don't know if it's your big or your small sister, though. Adeline Fru. She's, I know that she's your sister, right? She's my elder sister, yeah. Your yeah, elder sister. Okay, Adeline Fru. For those who don't know, Adeline Fru, she's here. She's a tech guru. I call her tech guru because she has a um, cyber security school, think tech you know um cyber security school and i've been at um let me say i'm a, a alumni <laughs> but we'll talk about that some other day sister adeline welcome thank you so much for joining she told me about you so thank you so much sister adeline she says we provide solutions for nurses to travel abroad with a third party 
And then Onela said, good question. Pretty Veronique, thank you so much for joining. Welcome, sweetheart. Please share as you joined. Onela said, good question. See great opportunities. Wow. Oh, Bam Bam, thank you so much. Good evening, Glam Mama. Thank you so much. Welcome, sweetheart. Thank you for joining. Sister Roxy, thank you guys again for the love. Thank you. Nash Tiku. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Nash Tiku. Thank you for joining. Welcome. It's been a long time. We haven't seen you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So just to recap what you've said so far for those who are just joining our brother our guest for today is the founder of a platform called expats across borders that is a platform that connects employees skilled workers to people that are looking for jobs you know skilled workers like people that are looking for jobs he connects them to employers that are ready to hire those people globally so he's currently based in germany what they do is they look for nurses teachers and uh, you said healthcare and IT, uh, IT professionals. They, 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 if you're already trained, that is a plus for you because your process will probably go faster. But if you're not trained, they have a way that they can help with the training, but you have to learn the language. So the deal is you're, you're going to be, you know, employed from Cameroon or wherever you are, like, you know, Africa, anywhere, any part of Africa, and they will, pro they will help you process your papers to travel to Germany to work. So please, if you know anybody that is looking for, an international job or anybody that is willing and ready to move from wherever they are and they have those qualifications. If you are a nurse, you are a teacher, you're an IT professional, if you want to move and you're ready to move, please contact Asan Kenneth. I tagged him on this post. I'll put his um his Facebook page is already on the platform on our Glam Media platform and I'll still go ahead and put it again at the end. So if you're interested in the program, you just reach out to him directly. All right. So let's continue. Welcome our Amy Bride. Welcome sweetheart. Thank you guys so much for joining. So let's continue questioning our amazing guests. So Mr. Kenneth, my next question is this. If somebody is in Africa, Cameroon, right? And they already have their qualification, like let's say they just graduated from nursing school. Then you said the only thing they have to do is study German right do they have the german classes in cameroon or is there a way that they can do it online before like in preparation for the trip um yeah that's a good question um there there are many uh language schools in cameroon the thing is that we have to look at try to understand it from this uh, point of view we have like i introduced that for the side of the employers the employers are looking for qualified workers but they are unable to find those qualified workers in germany that is why they are looking out of germany and because the politicians have understood the need for these experts they've made the uh, uh, the, the the process the the, tra the the transition process from one country to other easier to get into germany so what happens is that when if you you're going for an interview and you you want you're in healthcare let's say you're a nurse or maybe a medical doctor at the end of the day you have to take care of the patients in germany and so the employer cannot give you a visa when you don't speak German, right? So if you, by the time you give, you have a, an amazing uh, a CV or a great score in a GPA in the university or in a training institution, but you don't speak German, there is nothing the employer can do with you because he, he, he runs a business, right? He needs people to get the job done. So what happens is that you need for you to be able to open your, your chances. That's why I say it's a win-win-win situation. The, the employer is looking for a qualified worker. You, the employee, you are looking for a, a, a good employer. That's why you have to prepare yourself to be able to convince the employer to give you the employment, right? So if you have your degree, the next step that is extremely important, extre especially in healthcare, is that there, there are no two ways you can go about it. You need the language. And the language requirement in Germany at the moment for you to be able to have an opportunity to work like a nurse or a medical doctor is the B2 level, which means that there are so many language schools that are in, in, in Cameroon, which you can take. I, I would suggest that you take them uh, uh, on site. There are also uh, a language schools online, but when you do them on site, you have, especially in Cameroon, you have opportunities to interact with the teachers and see what's going on. But of course, there are a lot of people to who walk. So it's kind of challenging for them to maybe meet up with some just language uh, school. That's where you can now look at the opportunities on on-site, which one is best, and then see how you can be able to integrate into your program. But then it depends on what goals you want to uh, you want to achieve because nothing is going to be handed to you on a platter of gold. 
even if you get the employment contract today, you still need to work to convince the employer that he made the right decision in giving you the, 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 the working contract. Because I've had discussions with a, a couple of nurses and I think the expectations were, were unrealistic where they were thinking like, okay, the employer should pay for my language course or the employer should pay for my flight. I'm asking myself, um, I don't know how you look at it. It's a business and it is a win-win situation. So if you are just expecting to sit and be served on a platter of gold, I don't know where, even for those of us who live here already, it doesn't exist anywhere in the world like that. You must be somebody who, has a, who is goal-oriented, who wants to achieve something, and you have to be able to invest. It is an investment in yourself and your family. I strongly believe, that's my philosophy in, in life. Life is give and take. The people who are being handed things never value them. If you pay for those classes for people who didn't pay for them, they will not take the patience and the energy to sit down and study because it's not like when they pay for the, the language classes, you're just going to know how to speak the language. No, it is a challenge. So except for people who really want to do it, they have to sit down, invest the time, take up the challenge and be able to transform their minds and their, uh, 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 their minds and their skills level. For the IT people, they are lucky. Of course, we have IT jobs in German, in German but we also have international IT jobs that do not require the German language. We have IT jobs in English. That's why for the IT people, it is easier for them to be able to find IT jobs if they, the key for the IT people is to have the hands-on skills, to have the IT skills that are required. Let's look at things like cybersecurity, which Madame Adeline with her Think Tech School, which you just talked about. They've been training international experts for over five years now and their, their students are placed all over the world. If you reach out to us, we can also link you up with, with, with partners that we know. We do not want to give recommendations or for things we don't know. We, we, we know that ThinkTech is a reliable source. If you are somebody who is in the IT field, we look for an IT skill that says internationally, we can link you up with ThinkTech that will help you transform you into a cybersecurity guru. What, we, what are also IT skills that are also being needed are software developers or um, data analysts. Those are the kind of people I look for because we know that those uh, people are being looked for. And our job is just to be able to connect the, uh, uh, the, the, the two, two actors, the two actors together. Thank you so much for that. I was actually going to ask you if you can give us examples of IT courses that fall under that category, but you mentioned uh, cybersecurity, data analysts, software engineers, right? Okay, like maybe how about like IT help desk that, you know, just people that are starting. <laughs> do they get, do they get that too? I mean, you can start. The truth is that um, if you look like think tech consulting, they have beginner courses, IT courses. But you know, the thing is that if you get something that everybody gets, then what we are trying to do is that because if we could also, it's a platform, it's there, it's there for everybody to access. If, I open, if we open it, we could go for jobs that everybody, if the employer, if the employer wakes up today, he sends out a, a job uh, opening, he gets about 50, 100 applications. He's not going to go to Cameroon to get somebody from Cameroon, right? You get somebody that's living by him that will ease that process. So we are looking for opportunities that the employers are finding difficult to find the people around them so that it will give them the momentum, the impetus to look towards <laughs> our brothers and sisters who have the skills. So we're, that's why we're opening, opening those things up. So if you have just basic computer uh, skills, they can pick up anybody around them and they won't have need to be going through, spend more money, go through all of that stress to be able to... Uh, 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 get those 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 applicants thank you that makes sense i remember when we we're back home people used to say that when you're looking for schools like even when you're doing admission to, to study abroad you have to apply to a program that is not in your country so that they will motivate them to give you the visa because if you go and apply for a program that they teach in ub they'll tell you that but this program is being taught back home so that makes sense so that's true i was just asking because a lot of people you know like i like i said i went to think tech and we started from what is a computer so <laughs> I have those skills, so I was just wondering if you people can hire me somewhere. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I'm still transitioning, though. I'm still transitioning. So that's why I started from the beginning. So eventually, when I get to the point where I know that, okay, this is where I want to stop, or this is where I want to start my IT career, then I think I can call you, right? I can call you. <laughs> so, okay. Now, that. thank you so much for that um, wonderful um, 
um, explanation of you know what we asked. The next question that I was going to ask you before I do that, let me let me say hi to my people that joined. Sister Patience Kimbi, I see you. Welcome, sis. Thank you, Sister Evele, for joining. Thank you so much, guys. Um, my my sister Roxy, she's into tech as well. She has a school that teaches cyber security and Scrum Master and project management. So she is saying that it's true. Devs are in high demand in organization, and she says that proper training is top priority. So the goal for the experts across borders if you can have your skills already if you have like you've gone to your nursing school and you've graduated you've done your it program you have your certifications right if you have your certifications at, at least if you have the training you know that you know that you're you're confident enough to start working because no employer wants to hire somebody that doesn't know any know what they're doing even though sometimes they train you but at least you should come with a you know a background kind of foundational knowledge of what they are hiring for so if you are if you have any of those certifications if you have done completed any of those trainings the only thing like he said that you need is to learn the german language i know that when we were in pe back back in those days when people were falling bush they used to go and like people that wanted to go to germany they used to go and learn uh they used to have like learn you know places where they go to learn the German language. But I've been out of Cameroon since 2007, so I don't know how it functions there anymore. And, you know, with COVID and everything, everything went online. So that's why I asked the question of whether they want to do it. You have the, to do it online or on the ground. So talking about German language, you mentioned that they need the B2 level, right? How long does that training take? How long does it take to train as a, to get that level? So to get the B2, if you do it intensively, it should take you about, nine months to get to the b2 level and um, what i tell people is that especially if there are st students who are listening to me now say when you have your holidays invest them if you because the thing in life is that people who don't have goals they always get lost because they try this try that try that try at the end of the day they find themselves on the same point if you have a goal that you're fixed on when you have a goal and you put your energy to it everything is possible but those who have a very clear target I advise you if you are maybe in a nursing school now, in a medical school, or you are even doing advanced level, ordinary level, even parents who are listening, whose kids are maybe in ordinary level, advanced level, and you are looking at, okay, there might be a possibility for my kid to move in general. So sometimes learning another language is just an advantage. You could find your job in an international company where uh, they say speaking this extra language will give you an edge over applicants. So it's never a loss, it's just an advantage. I'll tell you that if you're still in school, you're still going to, when you have your holidays, start taking those classes. Because when you start taking those classes, by the time you get to graduation, if nine months is not going to feel so long to you, right? Because most of people is like, okay, after I can understand partly with the feeling like, okay, after going through all the exams and the stress, now I just want to rest. I don't want to do anything anymore. But you cannot rest, you get to the finish line right? The finish line is to sign a working contract. <laughs> so um, what happens is that in order to reduce that time, you can already do your studies when you have holidays, visit those language centers. We have language centers in Bamenda, in Douala, in Yaoundé. Get the A1, get the A2. So that when you finish, you can even cut that time to three months. And as soon as you have those, you have your nursing certification, you have your, your, your language certification, B2 level, you are good to go. The next thing you need to do is to get yourself ready for an interview with an employer. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for that response. Um, for me, uh, like you said, you have to set goals in life, right? For me, growing up, like when I was, you know, in secondary school, everybody, all of us, like all my friends, we had our dreams and things that we wanted to do while we were growing up. But then, as we grew up, we became adults. I find myself in nursing. I, I never ever planned to be a nurse, you understand? I set my goals to be like an accountant. I went to UB, I did business management. So I also want to use this opportunity to put it out there to anybody that is coming up or that is in school or that is struggling to figure out their dreams. Sometimes you have to go through plan B to get to your plan A. But the most important thing, like you said, is set a goal for yourself. Put it down and say, okay, I want to be a this. You start working towards it. But also be open to, you know, changes. Also be flexible. Also, also know that, like he's talking about, this is an opportunity for nurses, IT professionals, and teachers. Look at where you are now, what you're doing in life. Is it giving you anything that you need for it to give? If it's not giving you what you need to give, 
just remember that there's an opportunity for you to travel elsewhere as something else so you it's not too late to change you can still decide now that okay this thing that i'm doing is not giving me money i'm not making any progress in my life i've seen an opportunity where if i study nursing i can travel abroad and become a nurse you can just switch you can make that decision and be like this is I'm leaving this thing that I'm doing now and you move to what you're doing to, to go do the nursing. Then you go do the nursing and travel abroad, work, do your thing. After many, many years or after some time when you're settled, then you can go back now to your original dream and start doing it. I say this because I've told even our Cameroonian artists, music artists, if you're doing music and it's not working for you, find something else and do do that and then once you get the you know you're settled down with what you're doing then you come back to your music because for me this is a great opportunity for anybody it's not only for people that are in nursing school it's not only for people that are doing it now it's not only for people that are doing you know teaching it's for anybody that is willing to make a change in their life so if you want to change your life or if you're already in this field then that's good for you you just have to follow through with the plan of going to study the language and then you know contact him and see how you can move abroad. But if you're not in any of these fields and you're not doing well where you are, please start thinking about how you can switch. Because the time, the life time to, there's no time, life is too short. We can't be in and we can't hustle. So if you do something, they pay, master, move, go for, find something else. Because we need that money to pay our bills. We need that money to feed. We need that money to take care of our families. So please help me make a switch that can change your life. All right, bro, that brings us to our next question. But before I do that, let me uh, take this question from Roxy. She says, do you support your clients to get them certified after training, or is that something they have to figure out on their own training? So when she, say, when she says certified, what does it mean? What does she mean exactly? Because here in America, right, when you do those short courses like Think Tech, Cybersecurity, we have certifications that we have to take after we do it. So she's asking if you guys support them in doing the, when they do the training, if for those who are not into the, in the field already. So if they come in and they do the training, do you support them to, to get the certifications or do they do it on their own? It depends if she means the IT field or the healthcare field, because for the IT field, um, like I said, Think Tech is the partner that we are is the partner that we are working with. They're in charge of that. They prepare you completely for the certification, and then you take your your certification is with uh, with international bodies. But they prepare you so that you prepare yourself. You work. You can take the certification. I think I saw on their page yesterday they announced a student who had uh, passed their certification. So that's for IT. But for healthcare, if you come in, what happens is that when you have a let's say you have a bachelor's in nursing or an HND, you come in, you need to go, you, you have to go through a recognition process where they have to look at your certificate, look at what you did, look at your experience and see if it matches with the German level. If it doesn't match, based on those results, they'll not tell you, okay, you need to do like a, maybe a three months training or a six months training to take a state exam. So that's something else. So what is happening right now, we have partners with whom we are working, but th that's also my field, right? That's also my field. So, but for now we have partners who are working. I can guide you through that process, that's not a problem at all. I can guide you stage by stage through that process for you to get to your goal. But like what I always say is that everything starts with here, the intention. What do you want in your heart? What do you want to achieve? Because I can guide you, I can show you how to get there. But if you yourself are not ready to do the work, there is no magic that I can do. It's the same like if your father was a professor and you, you are born, you think you cannot just born and inherit, become a professor. You must work if you love to be a professor, work for yourself. So I can show you the way, but you have to work yourself to be able to get that. So thank you so much. Talking about showing the way, thank you so much for that great that that particular statement because we have a lot of people that do stuff but they don't like to show other people the way they don't like to share sometimes you go to somebody and you are like oh please i love and you know i'm interested in what you're doing you know like you are a healthcare professional somebody will come to you and be like oh you're a nurse please i want to be a nurse can you guide me on how to go about nursing you know getting into the nursing program and stuff there are a lot of our people that don't like to help others. I've been a victim, so I speak from experience. People don't like to share knowledge. People don't like to help others. Some people will charge you for it. That's how bad it has gotten now. People will charge you for it. But for me, I'm like, and then there are people that will discourage you, will actually tell you that, oh, this is not for you, this is not for you. For me, I'm one of those people that I will give you. I'm like, if you ask me anything, even this talk show that I'm doing, there are people that have come to me, oh, they want to do talk show, what should they do? I also went to people that were doing talk show before me, and some of them gave me tips, and some of them like, didn't didn't but that's fine because for me i believe that if you are determined to do what you want to do i always advise people first of all do your research about it if you're not able to find the information that you need that's when you approach somebody that's already 
done it and asked them, okay, bro, I want to be, become a nurse. This and this is the information that I have, but I don't think this is enough. What do I do? How do you, you know, advise me to proceed? Then you will give them now all the details, like you said, you give them everything that they need to do the nursing. Let them go and try it. If it doesn't work out for them, then it has, it's, that's not on you. You've already done your part, but at least you show them, you guide them. So thank you so much for that. I really love people like you who are willing to help others and, you know, let everybody grow everybody has to this is this life is too short there is no need to be keeping information or stuff that can benefit another person what's the point you know that's why i'm doing this show because i want people to meet people that can help them so please if you're watching this show and you're interested in anything that he has talked about nursing it he already has a lot of connections they have schools it school the sister has an it school they will teach you everything you need to know from the beginning from what is a computer so if you're interested contact them and as a certification about the certification like he said they will also guide you through it but i know that some certification you have to pay for it and stuff like that but that will be on you but they will give you all the knowledge all the resources all the materials you need to study and prepare for it for the certification so just exactly. you know, reach out to them sorry to cut you but just to jump in in germany what happens is that like i said that's why you have to say yourself because even those certifications especially i'm talking now for the healthcare sector the employers cover all of those uh, 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 fees in Germany. They cover all of those fees. I have, for me, I think that like you started your program by saying we, live, we rise by lifting others. I've been able to connect so many people within the community here in Germany. Uh, there was a, a lady who came, came from Cameroon that was about seven or eight years ago who was scared of going to the hospital and had the, the, the I don't know, like a stigma or whatever, that no, to work in the hospital, you must be white, you must be this, that a black person can work, all of those kind of things. I gave her the connections, I showed her the nursing school where she could go to, and luckily it was somebody that was serious. She went there, she got her training, and today she works in the hospital like an, uh, an, an operating nurse in the hospital where i have so many of such examples and i'm saying you showing where you can get your training or sh even have or even direct directing you to employers that's not a pro it's not even the problem to me i have those connections i used to employ myself before i changed and went back to health and uh, care education so i understand how it works like i have colleagues with whom i used to work at the time who now employ for those who are if you are listening to me that you live in germany or whatever, yeah, you are looking for things like reach out to me. I have employers who are on standby who are ready to 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 to, to offer you the job. If you prove to them that you can get the job, those connections it goes really fast. So our job, like I said, is just to really connect people together. Even if it's in Germany or out of Cameroon, now we are using expert across borders to stretch the string out of Cameroon to see people who are interested, right? I don't know, really, you can never you can take a horse to to the water, you cannot force it to drink. Those who are interested to grab those opportunities, we are bringing those opportunities to you for you to look at them see what you much effort you can put in to be able to sustain help yourself improve yourself and that of your family thank you so much for that bro i'm impressed because i even thought that this thing was only for people that are out of germany so if there are peasants like people foreigners that are in germany that are even looking for a job they can contact you and you can hook them up my goodness her hair dresses this is my sister oh, she lives in germany sis i beg spread the news for all german peasants they were germany if they need job anything that you know they're looking at they're skilled as long as they are skilled they have the you know the training and everything for it they can they can apply and like he said before some companies are even willing to pay for your certification right so if say you've done your cyber security and you don't have the certification they can get you a cyber security job and company that can help you sponsor your certification Yes, for the for the healthcare, for the healthcare, the healthcare. If you have your training, is if you have your training out of Cameroon, because we have a training out of Cameroon. Like I said, you have to get a certified in Germany. There are companies who are ready to pay for that. For the IT sector, the IT sector, most often the companies want to have you when you have the certification. Except there are also those those opportunities are there, but they are very scarce. The companies for the IT sector, for the IT sector, no language but the companies love people with experience. So if you have been trained or you have your certification, they always love to you for, to have experience, proof that you can get the job and they'll give you the job. For that, I cannot guarantee that the company will pay for your, your, your certification. No, for IT, no. But for healthcare, I can guarantee because I work there. Like I said, I've worked like, like an employer before. I can guarantee that once you have your training, and this is just for people who, work out of, who are, are done their, got their training out of Germany. When you get your training out of Germany, when you come here, you need to be certified in Germany. I have contacts. 
that will pay for those education at the end of the day. But you have to work, right? You have to prove to them. It's an investment, right? Life is give and take. You have to prove to them that you can get the job done and they'll be able to uh, make sure that you are comfortable enough to, to meet your, 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 your dreams. That's why even for people who are living in Germany, even for people who are living in Germany and they are thinking of, oh, I'm having difficulty in my job or I'm thinking of changing or whatever, what can I do and all of those kind of things, looking at maybe it could it be healthcare or something like that, reach out to us, talk to us. We can, we, as long as it's healthcare, we're going to guide you where to go to and how to get the training, where to get the job, where to get the training, all of those things will, will navigate you through the process. All right, bro. Thank you so much for that correction. Okay, I thought that it was IT involved, but that's fine. One of the things that I know, being in healthcare myself, is that we, there's always a need for nurses. There's always nursing shortage. There's always people because people are always sick, and there's never enough nurses to take care of them. That's why most of these people sometimes when you come into when you move abroad, the first thing that they suggest to you is healthcare. Because I myself, I'm a victim. You may, you, you talked earlier about the lady that told you that she she was told that we cannot work in the hospital and stuff like that. I was told the opposite. When I came to America, I was told that as long as it's nursing field, nobody has a problem with you. You can work as a nurse, you can work 100 hours a week if you want to. But then going to corporate world, because we have an accent, it's difficult for them to hire us in that field because we were not going to be able to communicate. But later, I found out later on that it was a lie. It's just because we were scared and we just, you know, Africans, we have that mentality of, when one person is doing something, all of us will just follow the person and go do it. We don't need any research. Once somebody just says that this is what I'm doing and it's confirmed that it's working for them, we try to follow the person. You see now? So thank you so much for clarifying that. So if you're already trained as a nurse, like if you do your bachelor's degree, say in UB, you go to Germany, you just need to go through some courses to make it to get a certification in Germany. And the companies are willing to to help with that okay good now for it he said that you don't necessarily there are some it companies that can hire you without the german like they're international companies so you just have to you know i guess find it you know put in that effort to with him working with him you guys will find find a company but with it it's advisable to already have your certifications if you can you know because there are some it companies i've worked in an it company before that did not require the certification and i've also done interviews with others that are insisting that you must have some certifications so with it what what um sister adeline advised us was that just once you're done with the training just do your certifications just have it on you if you have it on you if somebody is hiring whether they need it or not if you have it you already have it so thank you so much for that all right so let me take another question from the audience um my sister in Germany, she said, how can people contact him? Well, we, do you have a specific way that you want people to, to contact you? Sorry, um, you can reach out to us. If you go to Facebook, you go to Expats Across Borders. What is showing on the screen now? Expats Across Borders, that's our Facebook page. Send us a, me a message there. We'll see it, we'll get back to you and we can pick it up from the experts across but i'm sure a segment is going to come up where we're going to talk a little bit about the platform how it work, for, works and how you can get to it but just go to our facebook page experts across borders send us a message and we will get to you and then we'll pick it up from there okay thank you so much i'll also drop it in the in the comment section and i posted it before on the on the Whenever I make a post, I do, I make sure that I tag their pages. And then after the show, I usually do a recap and I'll still tag the page on there just to make sure that people get information on how to contact you. So Sister Roxy is asking another question. She said, have you had employers who are willing to hire employees for remote work from Cameroon? I don't know if people can work remotely from Cameroon without internet, without drama with empty and you worry. Um, I hope you can get me. Yes, for the IT, like I said, the I, especially the IT companies is something that we are still working on to get as many companies as as possible. What we mainly do right now, what we have on our platform right now, are, are IT openings. But we are still working on getting so many partners in the IT field that we can be able to connect. For example, I have like profiles with with, with me now that I'm working on to find the right company to connect with. Right, so. For sure, in IT, there are jobs, opportunities, like if you're a software developer um, that you can work from home, some companies are willing to do that. 
but it's something that you need to it's something we are still working right now i don't want to say up top to say that okay we have that and then no it's something we are still trying to build that portfolio especially with the it companies to see everything depends on your profile but what we have for sure guarantee for sure is on our platform we have it openings on our platform but we are still trying to build a rapport with it companies to see where we can be able to direct contact and say okay look at your profile what do you have this and that but if you come to our platform you can apply to the open positions that are there directly and then if you are good enough, your CV is well presentable, then you can already get in direct contact with the companies already and start negotiating with them. So open positions we have on the platform. For healthcare sectors, we have partners with whom we are working uh, with. We are, we are also trying to build up the portfolio. So if you, you send us your, your profile, we look at it and we see that, okay, it works. We have partners with whom we can just send those profiles or look at it and see if it works for them. We can set up an interview and we are good to go okay bro thank you so much for that let me extend extend that question to me so if say i'm in america and i have my um, certification i did my cyber security i have my certification can i come to you to help me get a remote job that way i don't have to move to germany i can stay here in america and work from germany is that possible if it's like an english speaking job it's an english speaking but that's possible now through you coming to the platform seeing the open positions that are available and applying for them when you apply for those positions if the employer finds your cv uh, good enough they'll call you for an interview and then you can negotiate directly with the employer and say okay i'm in the us i mean we have the, the thing with with the, with, the, with the platform of course when there's a job that comes up when they find the right person those jobs they take the jobs down that's how it works in every platform so there used to be jobs that were international jobs that were being posted by uh, American companies that were they were looking for somebody who was supposed to needs to work in Stuttgart or things like that. In that case, you have to now negotiate with them and say, okay, I have a family. Do how often do I have to travel? Does it meet? What all those kind of things? So our job is really to put you directly with the employers, directly with the employers. In cases where we can come in, then try to see based on your situation and if we have the right employer. That's why I'm stressing on that. If we have the right employer, especially in the IT, if we have the right employer, we can look at your case and say, okay, we have the right employer, we think that matches with this, then we can now go to employer and say, look at this profile specifically. Don't you think that this works for you, right? But for right now, we are advising you, go to the platform, look at the open positions and apply for them. If you're, That's why I talk about the skills because you say yourself, I've, I've said that many times, there are people who have skills don't know how to say themselves, there are others who say themselves and don't have the skills. You go there if you have the skills, present yourself, sell yourself. If you're good enough, they're looking for workers, they'll give you, you get the job. Thank you. So if this applies to anybody, like you said, even those in Europe, in the US, as long as you have your skills, you have your, you know, your jobs, you can you can you, you have your skills and the job is there for you. It doesn't matter where you reside, as long as you qualify for it. If it is a remote position, you apply and do your interview and you get it. Okay, thank you. Bro, I'll call you. you you'll find me work. <laughs> you'll find me work in the in the nearest future. Don't wait, we'll get there. We'll get there. Sister Adeline, don't tell me. Say I have my brother in Germany, you know, who can connect you with this, this, that. But I didn't really follow up because that time my head was hot. I wanted to finish the the, the, the thing first the studying first so i'll contact you so i always tell people that this glam media talk show that i do is to expose anybody that you can benefit from and it's not only for our audience it's for us as well ever since we started this show each guest that has come here i've benefited something from the guest or i will benefit something from the guest in the future and that's my own way of telling people that i'm not just bringing people that you know don't have anything to offer if they can help me you know, because I'm somebody that when I see somebody that has something to offer, I go close to the attitude skin. I me, I want to succeed for life. I can't for life now. I can't find money. I want to succeed. So if I see anybody that is doing anything positive, I to skin, I need to skin for the person. So thank you so much for uh, for coming today because I will contact you and you will help me get a job that will come back here and test give the testimony that it, this job that I'm doing today is from Asan Kenneth from experts across borders. So thank you so much. All right. So now let's go to the next question, which on, on, on my mind, I've been thinking like, huh, you're doing all this thing, you're connecting people, you're this, 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 this. The only question that I want to ask you is that, especially for, my, for our people back in Cameroon, since Pancho is not here, for those who are watching, who are just joining, Pancho is bereaved, so he couldn't make it again today. So you guys keep him in your prayers. So for those who, for those who are, are watching, um, 
from Cameroon, the question that I wanted to ask is number one, do you charge for this service? Do you do people pay you and how much does it cost? And then I'll ask the next question after this. Mm -hmm. So to get on the platform, you don't pay you don't pay a dime. We have the jobs on the platform. The platform is free for all job seekers. You don't pay a dime. But what happens is that if you go to the platform, you apply to jobs, you're finding difficulties, and you want us to guide you through the process, those are consulting services, then you have to pay us for that. Then we're going to charge for that because our strategy is very simple. If you if you you come in, you're trying to find a job application, you find difficulties. What we do is that we're going to match you with experts on the field, especially in the field of IT, is software development, is it cyber security? We have guys on the field who have been working for many years who can hold your hand, give you tips on how to go about the interview process, what is what the market looks like, what are the expectations, and then we navigate you through. So those are consulting services. These are experts, they are busy. We won't call them to come and walk you through that. We have to pay them, right? So when you, you come for those services, you have to pay for those services. But if you want to just go ahead and apply for your job, every job you see on the platform is free for you. Just call the platform, you create your profile, you apply for, to as many jobs as you find on the platform, it's free for you. If you're lucky and you get a job, that's a gift from us to you. But if you don't get a job, we are still happy to help you. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that clarification. Because when I, I was I was looking through the platform, I was like, I know that it's like a kind of a job, um, you know, connecting platform where people can look for jobs from year to year. But then I also wanted to just make sure about the the fees and everything so that people should be ready to know that okay if they want to use your services this is how much they'll, they'll pay or this is you know it's something that they need to pay for so thank you for that clarification so for those who are watching like he said if you have to just go on the platform and search the job criteria and apply you get the job that's fine but if you're having difficulties and you need their help extra help that's when you know you guys will talk about the fees and i'm assuming that it's affordable because i know my sister adeline she's and i know that she's your sister so you have the same blood she's one of the most understanding <laughs> principals and ceos that i've seen in this life you know so i know that it's a family that they they will, they will take care of you trust me trust me they will take care of me they, they have taken care of me so they will take care of you so it, don't worry about if it's the money or anything don't worry about it they got you but just Go, you know, contact them and tell them what you need to do, cons considering what all the information that he shared, and they will, you take it from there. So don't, don't, don't worry about the price. I just wanted us to know that there is a possibility, if you, if, if need be, to to pay for something. All right, I'll take this comment from Sister Roxy. She said, "I am also willing to collaborate for IT certification. I certify for Safe Scrum Master, Product Owners, Product Management." release train engineers, save for DevOps and more. So if you train your clients and I need to certify them, I, I need to certify them, I am available. I am a safe SPC, safe program consultant, certified authorized to train and certify people. This is if your clients need support with getting certified with IT courses. Okay, so like uh, if you have anybody that wants to do IT, you know, that needs certification, you know, they can, she can always, like for me, this platform, I always like to connect people because you never know where your luck might come from now sister roxy is there she has all the certification and everything knowledge that everybody needs so if you have somebody that needs certifications in any of those departments you know you guys can connect and and work together on that all right uh pretty veronique thank you ah <laughs> sister nora brown thank you welcome she said i don't come late though see so you know say show day on if you always go back and watch and all so it's never too late anytime that anybody comes uh, it's not late i'm 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 really i'm really happy to see you thank you so much sis for joining all right so the next question that i wanted to ask now is people from okay those of us who are in the diaspora most of the what we can do i don't know if if if, if there's anybody that is willing to move, you know, maybe they can contact you and you can get the process done. But I know that most people that are in the diaspora, they like to work remotely if possible from home. So now we go define that opportunity for remote work. We, if we'll be based in America, we'll we get job any side of the world as long as it's English speaking and also that one will we take care of. But now for people that are out of Germany, let's say Cameroon, Africa and all that. Now, after they are certified, after they have their nursing and then they have the, you know, um language what is the procedure now for them to travel abroad do you guys help with the visa preparation what is it that they need to do and how long does the process take yes so if you have your 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 said your certification your bachelor's degree or hnz and you have your b2 
you just reach out to us, we'll connect you with an employer, and then the employer is going the employers do it differently. The employers will say, okay, we will take up the process from there and we will control everything. There are also employers who say, no, we don't have time, we'll let you guys handle it, we'll conduct the interview, but all of the documentation process and follow-up will let you handle it. So it's it depends on the partially on the employer, what the employer wants. The employer so can that will do that, but just know that you you will not be alone because it, you, it's not possible for you to even know what needs to be done. So whichever formula that works, if the employer wants to take up the process and run it themselves, we are perfectly fine with that. The employer wants us to do it, we are also very fine with that. But just now, when you bring those two important criteria, then you can expect as soon as the documents are suspect, uh, um, submitted to the employer, the employer looks at them and is impressed you're going to get a call from the employer for an interview. When you talk, when the employer talks with you and the empl employer is impressed with what you, you are offering, the next thing that's going to come is going to be a working contract. So when the working contract comes, it means that that's the beginning of a process. It means that when that working contract comes, we now have to take, depending on which route the employer wants to take, they want to do it themselves or they want to do it through us, then we have to go through the, 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 the bureaucratic process, going through the labor office, going through, they call it an Ekenung Steller to look at it and say, okay, what does has this person done? What experience does he have? Which are the gaps that the person has? What must the person still do? All of that process has to be run, run completely before you can uh, 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 go for a, a, a visa interview. They have to review all of that process and the labor office says, okay, this person has the skills and uh, that, that we need. And we think that for what is left for the person to do, we think that the person can do. So the, when they give that, okay, it is a guarantee that when you're going to the embassy, the probability that you get a visa is like 99.9 or 99.2% that you will get the visa. As long as the labor office says, you have the working contract and the labor office says, okay, it's a 99.2 percent. The only remaining 0.8 percent is if maybe you've committed a crime somewhere that they find out, or we never know. Then that could stop the process. But if you are clean, the probability that you're going, you're, you're just going to collect visa. And mind you, nowadays to get a visa, an appointment in the German embassy, it takes months. If you want to do family reunion, it takes over a year. If you want to do like visitation visa, it takes months. But with a working visa, it takes less than three months. They prioritize it. So they, everything really depends on what you offer. There's nobody that's going to give you a contract if you cannot get a job done. But as soon as you're confident, you have the experience, you have the certification, you can prove that you, you, you can do these things, then um, it's just a matter of time. So this is a legit bush line, like bush line where it's straight so like ruler, where you don't need to go bend, 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 bend. <laughs> thank you, Onela. She said, thank you for bringing these people. Um, Sister Roxy said, Europe, Europe never likes to hire Americans because we charge too much. Cost of living in America is too high. European employees avoid us. <laughs> well, that's and, and true though, but if you have the skills that they are looking for, I'm sure they are willing to negotiate, right? They, they are willing to negotiate something because America has, just because, just because this country, they have placed themselves in a high, like they've made themselves that kind of valuable country where anything coming from America, you just have that notion that it is super. So that's why sometimes even, even people in Europe might have the skills and it's the same you know level as the people from America. But just because you're from America, that's why they just go all crazy. And I think it's because of the way the Americans have put themselves up there, you know, so... They just make you feel like even at the airport where you travel, you always say people will blow passport when I line this, then the rest of you people go that way. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just a mindset thing that Americans have enforced uh, around the world that they are number one. But if they, I know that if they are determined to, if if the company really meets you and you have the skills to hire you, and you, they will probably negotiate with you to give you something sure. close to what you're demanding. So people in America, no fear, when I say apply, <laughs> when I apply. Yeah. And also, there are international companies. They need not forget there are international companies. Some of the companies are based in the US, who have branches in, in Europe, or maybe European companies that have branches in the US. So there's always that international experience that's also needed. You never know. You can apply for this position and they say, okay, you fit more for that position because of your experience and you are switched to that position. There are always those possibilities. So there's absolutely no need to kind of, you know, limit yourself. Although the point she's making is a valid point, but there's absolutely no need to, uh, to limit yourself.
Yeah, thank you so much for that. So for those in Cameroon, Africa, or you know, every other part of the those in Germany, you have the first advantage because he's already there, you are there, all you need is to contact him to hook you up with those employers. Those who are out of America, if you are you know in the diaspora anywhere else, out of Germany in the diaspora, don't be afraid to go there and check. You might see an international job there that you can get. Now, those in Cameroon or in in uh Africa or any part of the world that want to move to Germany, don't be scared of the process. As long as you're skilled, you do your German language. If you're doing nursing, you know, if you're doing your healthcare, you have your your your, your certification and your and your um your language certification and everything good to go. All you have to do is start processing your papers and contact them. They will help you once you get the job. Like he's talking about this. Honestly, I've experienced not personally, but I've seen people who travel faster with those working visas, like the, the Canadian stuff. They had something like that going on. People were going to Canada like with like within two to three to six months, like the number of people that went to Canada on that work visa. UK started it recently. My, I have somebody in the UK who actually told me that they had to halt because of the number of people that the influx, it was crazy. So they had to actually hold and make sure that the employees that were coming in will actually have a job because now they were beginning to receive more employees than the jobs that were available because of the work part. Anytime that they need skilled labor, it is always like that. It is crazy. And I know that Germany is one country that has not yet been exploited like that. So this is an opportunity for you. Please, as you see Germany, so Germany, Delhi, America, or Arongo Day. I don't go there. Hey, God. Germany is wow. It's beautiful. It's nice. The only thing is that language. If you can learn that German language and you will make, you can succeed in Germany and make a good life for yourself and your people back home. So if you are interested in experts across, but start looking for money, start hustling your family, start telling your, 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 your people abroad, your people that please sis, sister, I don't see online no for go Germany. Oh, I don't see online. The problem with our people, especially those back home is that they shy away from things like this. They are always scared because they don't have money. They don't, they're always scared. Even those that have the money, they are scared of, you know, being duped, being scammed and stuff like that. I know bring on a scammer. Oh, I know bring on a people, they really will chop on money, no, no, no provide. Like he said, if there's a reason why you, your visa is denied, it is probably because of you or something that you have done. So I'm begging anybody that is watching this live, if you have the means, and you have the skills that are necessary, please contact him, contact Asan Kenneth on Facebook. I will drop his link down there so that you guys can follow him. They have a website. You can also check as fast as cross borders, right? We have a yes. website. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, just to say, I mean, you know, people have gone, one of the reasons why we even came up with the platform was because a lot of people have um, unfortunately gone through scams through agents. And that is one of the reasons we said um, we don't want to come up with like, maybe we want to come up with a platform where when you go to apply for the job, you're applying to the employer, not applying to me. You're not sending me your document. You're sending your, your documents to the employer. When you have an interview, you don't have an interview with me. You have an interview with the employer. When they, somebody's giving a working contract, the working contract is going from the employer, not from me. I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not hiring. I am not hiring. We are putting you in direct contact. You are the middleman. Yes, the middle man, right? direct, and yeah. that is why there is a platform. The platform is there for you to get in direct contact with those guys. So it's something that you go there, you see it for yourself. It's not something that I'm asking you to give me five million or ten million, like people go and pay for agents, and then tomorrow as I tell you that no, there's no gas in the fuel or there's no whatever, whatever. You are with the employer. You are talking with the employer directly. All right. The last question that I'm, I, have, I, I have for you before we leave for the day is about accommodation. So those nurses and people that are traveling, IT professionals that are coming there for work, is there any provision for accommodation for them or do you have to look for it yourself? Most often, most often the companies will do that because that's part of their integration. They will definitely organize that most often. So those are things that you can already discuss with the with the company because once the company sees you, likes you, get gives you a working contract, they will not want you to come and stay on the street to work for them. Because no, you will not be able to deliver what they are expecting from you. So those are already things that you can already discuss with them. I think there was a student, I think a couple like a month ago, a think tech student, and he came, he he was with me here in Germany. Then he went back to where he was, and a few weeks later he got a, a an IT job in. France or Portugal, I cannot remember exactly. And he told the employers up front and with my wife, 
if I'm coming, I'm coming with my family. He presented himself well, they wanted him, and they accommodated both himself and his wife. And of course, they give them a home. I mean, not giving them a home, like they pay for them, but make sure they have accommodation that, of course, you'll be paying the rent. So those are things that once you already prove and they're already attached to you and they really want you, they organize those things. I haven't seen, I've not seen a company where they'll get you somebody from Cameroon or Kenya and they'll not talk about the accommodation. Sometimes I've seen a Cameroonian who came from Cameroon, a software developer, and she, he was hosted in a hotel for two months by the company, paid by the company before he found a house. So those things are things that there is no, as far as I know, that will give you a working contract, especially to come to Germany and then, you know, except we tell that, okay, I have a relative that's in the city, I can stay here, it's good, but they'll always try to make sure, even if they don't, you should ask because you need somewhere to stay to be able to deliver. Good. That's why I'm asking for those who don't know, because I know that, you know, if you're traveling abroad for work, like the hotel party mentioned, it's something that is done here very frequently, very often. So when you get a job, they have to, if you have to go work in another town, the company will pay for you to stay in a hotel and stuff. If you have to move, sometimes they pay for your, your moving, like they help you pay to move to that other town. But then as long as you have a job, you, they know that, okay, there are, there are company houses that they can put you there for like three months. Then once you get yourself going, you start paying the rent. So I know that being abroad, I know that, but I just wanted you to say it for those who are in Africa, who well, might be thinking that, okay, I have the certification, I have the money to come, but where will I stay? So for them to know that, first of all, they need to ask their employer, talk about their accommodation, and then also it's possible for the employers to host them, you know, pay for some time until they get back, get on their feet, work for some time before they can start paying, but don't let accommodation be any problem. So for those who came in today to watch, I want to say thank you so much for always joining and following us. And for those who um, have questions, I hope um, he was able to answer your questions. If not, like I said, I'll drop his uh, Facebook page below for you guys to go uh, follow him and you can ask him the follow-up questions for there. But please do not let anything stop you from following your dreams. Follow your dreams. If you have a profession that is not working for you right now, please kindly switch so that you can fall bush. <laughs> Like a four bush, do not be afraid. Please switch to like a four bush. So, just to have a recap of everything that he said today, Experts Across Borders is a platform that connects employees, skilled employees, to employers that are looking for those um, employees. And then the second thing is that anybody, any part of the world that you are, if you're willing to move to Germany, that's a plus for you. You can, they can arrange for accommodation for you, they can arrange for, you know, for work stuff like certifications and stuff like that for you and if you are living in germany you can also contact him to help you get a job as long as you have the, the right certifications for it and you have the right skills and experiences for that so please do not let anything stop you from taking taking this um, opportunity if you don't have the money or whatever start hustling your family members your bush follower friends anybody that can help you start saving up you know start you know preparing for it. If you're already in the healthcare, that is a plus for you. Just go through with it, finish, graduate. Make sure you do your German language. That's the only hinge. Just do your German language. As long as you get your German language and your certificate, contact uh, experts across borders. They'll take it from there. They'll help you. So is that good? Yeah. So just to, just to add, like I said, you can reach out to us on Facebook, experts across borders. The the link to the platform is www.expaps.com. When you go to our Facebook page, you will find a link to the platform. Just click on it, sign up, create your profile, and you're good to go to apply for the jobs. It's very important. There are some jobs that are the employers created on the platform. There are some jobs that the employers created that is on their platform. So when you click on apply on our platform, it was going to take you to their platform and you can apply there. So it's very important that when you sign up, it's good, but make sure that on your profile section, you create the profile section we've created it in such a way it's like a CV, put in your information so that if the employer intends for the application to be processed within our platform, when you click on apply, they will send that CV information to the employer. Uh, to the, to the employer. But if uh, that's not the case, when you click on apply, it takes you there and then you can go send them a document. You please know that there are no documents that you can upload on the platform. When you send the information to the employer, 
the employer looks at them and likes them, they will reach out to you and you can send them your, your full certificate and all of those things, and then they'll pick it up from there. So it's, it depends on how the employers have kind of uh, processed it. So the platform you find on www.experts.com, just go to our Facebook page, Experts Across Borders, you'll find the link to the platform, go there, register there. If you see a job that you think you're good for it, go for it. All right. Thank you so much, bro. I'll drop your website also in the comment section for them to check or check it out. So please, if you have people that are in the healthcare field and um, IT field, please tell them to reach out to him because this is a life changing opportunity. I know go bring one any person here. We go, we go fool now. We go scam now. These people, I know them. I've worked with his sister, and she also told me about him. So I'm going to work with him also in the future. I've already told him, and I've promised you guys that once I get my job through experts across borders next year by god's grace what i'm planning for i'm going to work with them on that once i get my job i'll come back to glam media and i will tell you people that this is what they have done for me i will use myself as a testimony so thank you so much brother thank you so much for coming today i took a break from work to do this so i have to go back to hustling but thank you so much for making it today i know that it's evening your time maybe you already done the work i'll let you go relax with your family now and i will continue you know posting and and giving more information and anybody that needs to get any more information can also contact him on that so thank yeah. you so much for being here with us today. It was a pleasure to host you. Thank you so much for having me. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you for it. Your audience. And uh, we'll, we'll keep in contact. Thank you so okay, much. No, bro, we have to keep in contact, though, because the day that I'll be coming to shout here that this is my six-figure job that I got to, you'll be here. I'll bring you. <laughs> now, me and you go, can't you do? We'll the pop champagne. We'll the celebration. This is very show. So, so thank you so much. All right. Yeah. I'll see you later, then. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye. Take care. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello, people. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love Una from the bottom of my heart. Again, for those who are just joining, if you didn't see uh, the beginning, Pancho is not here. He's bereaved. He lost a colleague, so he couldn't make it today. So I'm glad and I'm thankful for Onela, who has been sharing and inviting people to join. Onela is our star of the day. So I will send Onela something nice for doing that. Onela, you are the winner for today. And that's how I'll be doing it every time. If I want to send somebody something, I'll announce it during the show for those who are going to be watching to the end. I'll announce it. So Onela, you are our winner for today. I will send you something for your top orange, for your top orange, your, whether now you want buying a launch or you want to put a data. Definitely, I'll send you something. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Pretty Veronique, thank you. I know that you are also one person that is always, always, always watching and always helping with this. Don't worry. I know, I know me now. I give, I, I, any man, even Onela win today, if win next time. So the goal is just to have people that are watching, that are watching to the end. Because Facebook policy now, you have to have people that are watching your show for more than a certain number of minutes for them to, you know, move it forward. So thank you guys for, for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. I want to go call that boy. I want to go call that boy. I make paper. I want to fall bush. I want to see all of the women country. So that tomorrow, I'll be one call on there. Like, tell me, say, oh, see, so mommy, I did for Germany. I can't, they can't visit you. Pretty Veronique, all of you guys. If you're not in nursing school, you can start doing your nursing program or IT courses and stuff like that. I also have people that can train you in the IT courses if you want to. When I know me, I'm the plug. <laughs> I'm the plug. So if anybody needs any training, anybody that can train them in IT, contact me. I will hook you up. Okay? So thank you today. Thank you guys for today. Onela, I'll, I'll get to you. Ma, run go back for, for hustle before the fire miss here. For what we're doing on social media. <laughs> thank you now. Guys, have a good day. I love you people. You are the best. <laughs> you people are the best followers. <laughs> I know you're not too happy to me. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Ma, go me back for work. We'll talk later. Man, make can make my small TikTok video too. Since I saw pin, say dress up today. <laughs> okay, fam. Bye. Take care. All right.